<laughs> Your snoring breaks the sound barrier, Satoko. <laughs> I could tell that she was sound asleep. Um, I, I want to ask you. That sounds cute. <laughs> it sounds like she's eating me, Hanyu. <laughs> Don't count her any more ghosts until uh, we get a new talisman. That's what I'm getting from this. So now we're back into the nurse's office where it's all safe. Huh. There's a notebook here with the word Dairy Diary. Did I just say Terry? <laughs> I'm... interested in his wife. <laughs> I'm more interested in his wife. There's still no sign of her. <laughs> Cross called out to his father through the door. Kimzo always shut himself up in study, hating it when nearly anyone, even his family, entered the room. For that reason, Cross had no choice but to call him from the corridor like this. Could you have said anything but that? Could you have said anything but molest me not? Please! Do not use the word molest! But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. It's cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs! You're at the age where... You're at that age where you try to help in a plastic bottle? <laughs> you're at that age you try helping a plastic bottle! <laughs> I hate these booby traps. I, I never despise something. There's something wriggling around inside the cabinet. Oh, is it like a floating battery? <laughs> the wiggling battery? Oh my god! God! I don't even. I don't even know. That was my last band aid. <laughs> but I'm sure the Sonic like family doesn't want to use their Joker unless absolute unless absolutely uh, absolutely. Absolutely. But I'm sure the Sonazaki family doesn't want to use their Joker unless absolutely necessary. No matter how much anime I watch, no matter how much porn I watch, a teacher pre-chewing food for a student <laughs> is just I don't know what to say about it other than, what the fuck? Is anyone else seeing anything wrong with this picture? Is anyone else? <laughs> 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 Is I just started! Don't do that shit to me, computer, right now! Damn it! I walked around the trash pile, and then I saw a light. It was Rena. I ran towards our hideout, kicking inside the trash in my way. Yeah, if 
when you see those eyes in Igarashi, you know you're not gonna have a fun time. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Just a little while ago, I was lying down in my room. And all. Is there a backlog I can look at? <laughs> Should I go into the, um, science lab? I don't know why, but this, that feels like a bad idea. This feels like a horrendous idea. But it's worth a shot. It's really... Why is it lighter in the science lab than any other place in the school? Wait, that was bullshit. Are you serious? <laughs> There was no warning for that sort of thing! Okay? The game gave me no warning about that sort of BS! I was gonna investigate what's in there! That is not cool, dude! And all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded. <laughs> yes! Her voice sounded like it was shaking! <laughs> If I remember correctly, whenever we came to this island in the past, the seagulls always greeted us with their lively cries. Seagulls are not good animals. They're beast! Absolute beast! No, they're better than they're better than geese. On the floor nearby was a suitcase, my butler, Waldo. <laughs> You were there the whole time! You were in Magari's mansion. Yeah, the mansion. You're in Magari's mansion! The whole fucking time, you piece of shit, Waldo! Fuck you! On the floor nearby was a suitcase my butler, Waldo, had prepared for me. Ojo-sama. That was not the voice I thought Waldo would have. <laughs> Waldo! <coughs> Always so courteous, and always kept an even tone of voice when addressing me. I turned my head and looked down at the suitcase. I slowly peeled myself off the bed to begin the arduous task of packing for my trip to Heavenly Host. Open and ready for me, the suitcase contained a number of essentials that Waldo had pre-packed on my behalf. There was a canteen, some store-bought sweet buns, a black robe, some candles, matches, and not even a few other assorted survival items. He had two large bottles in his hand. Hi. Apparently, one sauce was sweet and the other sour. Despite it being bad manners, I also stuck my little finger in and licked it. Whoa! One of the sauces was sour enough to make you pucker up. If it were yellow, I'd suspected lemon. But I couldn't guess what kind of sourness would be red. What? <laughs> Go to like going into the to the to the freezer to bring out the version he came in to make the red sauce. <laughs> Cut the version fade open and just pour it into making the red sauce. <laughs> what the fuck did I just say? What did I step on? What did I get hit by? Invisible hit? 
There's invisible hits! You know what? You know what? I don't know which one's harder. Try to avoid three Yoshi Kazus within 30 seconds with limited stamina or spending 30 seconds flying through over 30 hoops and fucking Superman 64! She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. Let's see if what Kyoko says is true. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit hard, but not as hard, like, hmm. Did she have her whole arm like that, or, oh no, her arm was straight down. Oop. Well, um, this is what it would have looked like if I was Sayaka with a pencil. you know, knife in my abdomen. One second. Okay, okay.